What's up guys, it's I'm Nick here, welcome back to an episode of Mario Kart Mondays. In the last episode, we did some online matches in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with Luigi, and I think if I remember correctly, we did battle mode, I could be wrong, uh, we're gonna do some versus races now, and we're gonna be going with... Tanuki Mario, which is now at the top. I remember in Mario Kart 8, uh, he was at the bottom because he was DLC, apparently. Uh, the Bitty Buggy, Slick Wheels, and Cloud Glider, which isn't too bad of stats, but it's not too good either. Uh, searching for players. Hopefully we don't spectate this time. It's taking a while, honestly. I guess my Wi-Fi is bad. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me that you're spectating. Let me guess. Did the race just start? Because that's my favorite. Seeing the loading times are high. Okay, it's actually... They're on their second lap. Oh, they just started their second lap. Sucks a little bit, but... We got a gamer in here? Yo, guys, look at this. We got a gamer. How's a gamer in seventh? That's just stupid. Like, if you were, if you were a real gamer, you'd be in first. 7th place, 8th place, like, you're not a real gamer. Like, get out of here. If I could kick someone, I would kick you. <laughs> but I'm not in charge of these servers slash room slash spectating. I wish you could, like, boo or yay people in spectating mode. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. But, sadly, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Uh... Anyway, guess I'll talk about random stuff like I usually do, because that's all we do in Mario Kart Mondays. We just play Mario Kart, talk about random stuff. So, uh, okay, Gamer got in third. It's not bad. Made a comeback there. Uh, yeah, I haven't really been playing much, like I said yesterday. Um, really just been, I want, I've been playing, uh, or by the time this video comes out, because I've actually, I'm recording this on Saturday, hopefully, by the time this video came out, on Monday, that I played some more Trials of Mana, because I really do want to get back into that, and play some more of that game. Um, I also want to play some GameCube games that I didn't like Prince of Persia and I think there's like one or th there's like one or two like GameCube games that like I forgot about and like want to play I think Geist was one of them it was like one of those infamature games that were made by Nintendo I think Fatal Frames on GameCube as well and I never played a Fatal Frame but I really want to um Maybe I've played some other games, or replay other games. I've been playing Celeste, because I'm actually doing a project on Celeste, or I want to. But, um, it's a group project, so maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm actually taking a video game class, and treat a topic from this book. And then choose a game as an example of it. So I was gonna do what's it called with um, Celeste with difficulty and how it does such a great job at kind of just easing you into the difficulty of the game. So yeah, I've been playing that just to get better at it so I don't embarrass 
myself in front of the class because I have to like get to like play the game to um, kind of demonstrate it. Yo, did you see that maneuvering, though? Oh, come on! Oh, I thought that was the last lap. You know what? I'll take third. I will gladly take third. Um... But yeah, I've been doing the B-sides over again, because the other thing, too, was... I kind of cheated in Celeste. My bad. But, uh... <laughs> And Celeste, I kind of used the assist mode in, like, sections because I thought they were too difficult. And so I got tired of dying and I just used the assist mode to skip that section. So I'm kind of going back with the skills that I've learned and the skills that I kind of improved on with Chapter 9, which is the DLC that came out recently. And I've been using that skill to go back to the B sides, go back to the C sides and use that skill that I have to kind of overcome those sections that I skipped and kind of just show the improvement that I kind of made to myself. So, that's been pretty fun. Um, what else? I kind of want to get back into Fire Emblem Three Houses. I did the Golden Deer route, if you guys saw my uh, review of the game. I definitely want to do Blue Lines next, and I think I got to, like, Chapter 3 or something like that in, uh, Blue Lines, but I haven't really gotten back into it, because with Fire Emblem, it's just, like, it's hard to get back into Fire Emblem, and it's, like, hard to continue playing Fire Emblem, at least for me, because I find Fire Emblem just too repetitive at some points. Like, if you look at Fire Emblem, and it's just, like, it's very repetitive in the sense of doing the maps over again, doing the same kind of battles over again. Sure, you have different units and stuff, but it's really is just kind of the same thing. Similar events happen. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of repetitive. And the Monterey sections are also pretty repetitive, too. Because it's like starting over, and it's like I don't really want to start over a game that I've already beaten. And I don't like doing that in general. Yeah, I don't really know what else to talk about, honestly. Really? I know I haven't played this game in a while, but... I shouldn't be falling off from Rainbow Road. Alright. Bull Bill helped me out there. Okay, I did get slipstream. It's like I'm pretty sure I should have got slipstream there. And I did. Really? Where the hell are all these bullet bills coming from? Can I beat Lewis? No, I can't. I mean, I'll take fifth, but like, really? Like, seriously? Like, come on. 
Wait, I'm trying to think what other games I've been playing. I played Astro Bears Party with my friend. There's a new meta. Like, or Astro Bears Party. And now it's Astro Bears. Because I haven't played it with anyone until, like, recently. And there's... There's a new meta. Especially for 1v1s. You just use Cybear. And you try and just ram into the guy. Because Cybear has two lives. Although his stats are shitty. He's got two lives. So all you gotta do is just ram into your opponent. He'll die. But since you'll still have an extra life. And invincibility frames. You still keep going. And you get the points. So. It's the new meta. Uh, so yeah. I played that. Um, also me and my friends have been playing. Danganronpa 2. As uh, I beat Danganronpa and did a review on it uh, pretty recently, I think about a month ago. And uh, yeah, we've been playing every Friday night and making bets on who would die. And uh, been really fun. We just finished case 2, and that's about it. There's only 12 students left. And it's getting pretty interesting. Apparently it's the best in the series. So that's really cool. And uh, so far, it has been pretty fun. This is mirror mode. God damn. This will get a good item back here. Okay, apparently not. Call this 8th place item. Yeah, I'm still using the non-mirror mode. Forgot mirror mode could even like be selected online. And I probably blocked it out of my mind because I hate it so much. third place. Like, I'm not too upset over third place. I think it's what I've been getting most of the races anyway. Yeah, I don't think I can catch up. This, wow, what the hell, Link? Link is just way too far ahead. Like, can we get, uh... Blue shell, anyone? Thank you. I guess I'll ask and... Really? Another boo just took my... Okay. Let's see if I can snipe him. Ah, uh, I, I could have sniped him. I bet you I could have. I literally hate that dashboard or whatever of the over the finish line. Because it just protects people from getting sniped by banana peels. And you're probably thinking, oh, no one can snipe with a banana peel. I can snipe with a banana peel. I, I literally would have gotten him if that wasn't there. I mean, sure, it can be useful. But, but most of the time, it's not. Because your trajectory, you're thinking, oh, it's going to hit him if I throw it, like, right there. But because of the backboard, it bounces back and it hits somewhere completely different than what you expect. Which I hate. So, yeah. Um, anyway. I got nothing. <laughs> I really don't know what else to talk about. It's been a pretty boring week, I guess. Just, again, haven't really been playing much. I mean, most of the time, I've just been hanging out with my friends, honestly. That I just... Yeah, it's either I hang out with my friends, and then on the weekends... 
I just do homework. So it's like... I don't play games anymore, honestly. I mean, I do, but like... All I have is my Switch. And my Switch is... I've been pretty much every game on my Switch. So it's like... What do I do? What game do I play if I beaten everything and I'm tired of Smash Bros and I'm tired of all these other games. Nice. I didn't think I was gonna get that, but I did. I love the stage so much. Did someone just snipe me with a banana peel to take my red shell away? Is that really what just happened? So I think it did. So now I got nothing to protect myself with. And I still don't because... Those, what's it called, are just way too spaced out. Alright, sir. And he gets hit with the blue shell too. I feel bad for the guy. <laughs> I don't know who was playing. I think it was Globs or something or Globes. I want to see what place they got in. It was Glabs. Oh my god, he got fourth there. Because <laughs> I literally hit him with a red shell. And he got stunned from that. And then the blue shell came. And it went after him because he was in first place when the blue shell got launched. And I was just like... Bruh, <laughs> surprised he didn't get lower than fourth, but I guess because he was towed, he got he had a lot of acceleration. Anyway, though, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Mario Kart Mondays, where we'll probably do some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe online matches right here on Tonic. Bye.